back inside to Cruz Malia. Hey, welcome back to GDD Coach Analysis. The Champions Cup final played in front of real life fans, so French giants La Rochelle and Toulouse go toe to toe. And the on moment where the contact was significantly higher. But aside from the penalties and the swapping of three pointers, there was the all important try scored by Cruz Malia that separated the two teams. But what tactics did Toulouse use to break the La Rochelle defence? Let's take a look. Now, just before we look at the try itself, we need to take a look back at the semi final between La Rochelle and Leinster, and in particular at the La Rochelle defence, and where Toulouse will have spotted opportunities. La Rochelle are incredibly effective in their use of a high line speed shut down defence, designed to stop the ball getting wide. But if the ball does get wide, an important feature of the system is the use of an inside fold. As the ball moves, the defence presses forwards, aiming to make man and ball tackles. While on the inside, we see both Lades and Bottia folding behind the line, acting like a drift or a jockey defence. Now this is where the big opportunity lies. Lens the play a short phase to split the defence and take a bit of sting out of the La Rochelle line speed, before then using a clever return play with Caelan Doris feeding Henshaw. Notice how La Rochelle have pressed high to spook Henshaw and invite him to go inside. Also north the huge space outside and Bottia sweeping across in behind, again performing that folding cover defender role. Back to the final, I just want to show you how Toulouse laid the foundations for the try. Early on, with a seven man line out around halfway, Toulouse looked to set a 45 metre target, with Aki taking the ball to the gain line, before then using La Rochelle's strengths against them. For that second phase, Toulouse know that La Rochelle will want to press hard, and defend the outside shoulder, as we've seen. So Dupont scoots across with Mauvaka's lead line doing enough to invite Bottia to bite in on the tackle. Now the outside defence have two frontline runners and a double blocker threat to deal with. And Richie Arnold does really well to commit Dumeroux and put Francois Cross into space with their higher west, anticipating a pass out the back. Now this line break was eventually covered by that folding defence. But with no body on the field and a really cool bit of centre field trickery, Toulouse were able to all but win the match with this score. Let's dig in. The start of the play is exactly the same as the last example. A seven man line out with Untermak using Aki to carry to centre field, followed by a blocker of nine with Movaka running the lead. But this time, Cross finds himself out the back and under serious outside shoulder pressure from Dumeroux but still he's able to time his pass beautifully to Untermach. Now that La Rochelle are slightly stretched, they go passive, inviting Cruz Malia to carry to the outside edge, where they can regain their line speed. And this is where the genius of the try comes together. Magicien Dupont passes to the inside of the nine shape, with Cos moving the point of focus with a tip pass, which makes a jackal more difficult. Now, Untermach again looks for that 45 meter target, refraining from going wide and playing to La Rochelle's strength. Anticipating a same way play, La Rochelle fold four defenders around the corner, and even though they start to react to the change of direction, the damage is already done. As they're not fully set, and now concerned about the lack of inside cover with Bottier off the field, when Dupont scoots with a lead line from Cross, the defence initially holds their feet, hoping to cover the inside threats, but this beautiful pass from Intermac gets the ball quickly to Tullafua, who does brilliantly to commit La Belle before passing to Cruz Malia with 25 metres to go. Now it wouldn't be right to talk about this try without noting the impact that Dupont has on defenders. As Rattier comes across the cover, he just stalls his run for a moment through fear of the infamous Dupont line, and that's all Cruz Malia needed to set him free. Although the backfield general, Bryce Dulin, almost did enough to get himself under the ball. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Certainly more than Toulouse fans will have enjoyed this risky finish to the game. Please do comment down below and let me know what you think. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as it really helps the video get seen by more people and indeed helps the channel grow. Until next time, au revoir.